Certainly is especially in not conference play so far in his career. He's been electric against teams from out the outside the ACC. Diamond in the middle. Ruel, he is eight goals for this kid. Opportunities he's able to create as he sends this one over to the right channel. Wallet, Wallet with an absolute scorcher that just went right of that right post. Cooper Flax. Flax will take it out, Swinger. And he'll just play the smart ball. Put right back into the mixer. Sneaking around on that far stick was Prince and Panza. And that was a good idea. They had a couple draws. They've had a couple wins because they're in every single match. Well, they were in this match a year ago. It was 1-0 at half. Escribano, good look up. He's got some time. Oh, and after a couple deflections, Victor... Able to get a paw on that one. This is a really good run by Escribano. He's not a guy who gets up in this area too, too often, but he saw that no one was stepping to him. So he said, all right, I'll uh, touch this into space and have a hit. And it just deflects up the back heel of a defender. Nice little space. Plays Forbes and Forbes across. Forbes with a shot, and it is going to be sick on the ground and stopped the stomach of Victor. A fortuitous bounce that will allow the Terriers to work. Here's a shot on a half volley right outside of the 18 with good contact. Escribano makes a step. White. White takes a shot. He sent it just a little over. Was it tipped? Yep. It was. Happy about this call. It took the referee a while to make up his mind there. Did you see the oh. double team quickly on Roll Mitchell? I mean, Roll Mitchell has been yeah, look at that. suffocated. Three guys on his back, actually. It's a lot. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Right? As Roll Mitchell able to turn. Jeffrey White, flag stays down. Jeffrey White, and that is going to be smacked around and across the line. Forbes said it did. Will they check it? Right on the goal mouth. And this is going to be fascinating to see White with a great quad cross. It pops right up. Oh, that's it. And oh, I don't know if there's yeah. enough to give it. But build all the way back up again. So we, you know, we talked uh, with Ogara. Here's Cummins. They make us look good. We just get to have fun. That's right. We do. Ooh. Tripped up is the point of the block there. That's the point of the spot. As Forbes got hooked over there. 15, Zachariah Holman that hooked him. Yeah, what a way for the Deeks mm. to potentially get uh, the breakthrough here right on the edge of the penalty area and, and a needless tackle because there's help behind. You know, that would give Forbes a little bit of space. And Julian Kennedy, who got a goal against NC State, trying to tack on another one. Back-to-back -back games. Here we go. Kennedy makes it official. It's 1-0. And the Deacons have taken the lead. At all. Just pings this into the top left corner. Goalkeeper correct, uh, guesses correctly. Look at him starting all the way in the back of the goal so that he can make his move forward. That's kind of smart, but just can't get to it. Also is a weapon and coming off the bench as well as whatever you want to do with Baba Niang. But I love the idea where Jake Swallen was going to go with it. And Jake Swallen leading the charge. Niang. Niang is through. Oh, brilliant work. And Wallet spikes it in and puts a hole through the net. It's 2 0. And the Deeks can feel it now. They have been a lot less tense since the opening goal was delivered off the penalty spot. Two teams, the way this game has played out. Really good work by Baba Niang. Goalkeeper maybe could have stayed back. That is such a tough thing for a goalkeeper to know how to do. He might have had defensive help there because that is, to be honest with you, Ty, that's a sensational tackle. Really, really good performance from him. Gatorade player of the year in the state of South Carolina, but the Deacons on another clean sheet. They have done it. It is win 100 here at home.